So the density of material, white and red phyla. Okay, I was checking the um, checking the chat here. Okay, so um, the idea behind density um, uh, is how much matter is contained in a in a certain space, and that is the the object's um, identity. And uh, so things that, uh, and our earth is layered in dense, dense layers. Things that are really heavy are at the bottom, um, under the ground, and things that are lighter, like our air and so forth, have a dense, lighter density, they are on top. So, um, so I'm gonna check, gonna have you guys do a quick, where did I put it? Matter, 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 is it at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. We're going to host this. All right, Cheyenne, you came in first. So um, can you tell me which game mode you would like to do? What game mode would you like to try? Hack. All right. Where? Crypto hack. Okay. And I will host this. And I will give you guys uh, seven minutes. Post now. And I'll give you this link here. So I'm gonna why hack? Well, I don't know, she likes hacks, so we're gonna try hack. There's your book it. that happens you can get in that be great morning Tim we have a nice said good morning to Krista how are you Evan, morning. <laughs> I did say I changed my name to Luffy, right? Okay. Luffy, okay. I can use that. I'll put it down. Okay. So again, as I said before, let's try to get in here and do some practice on the vocabulary here. Um, we are um, trying to get, hey, Emma, get in there. Um, I am trying to work on a um, something for the month where month of September, we're going to party. The, the class that participates the most. So six out of 23 is 25% participation. So I, I have had some classes. I have uh, had 19 out of 23. So they are beating you guys as far as uh, participation in a party. So you can get in there. So if you're gonna get 15, 16 people in this, that would be even better. Yeah, let's go. Come on, get in there, ladies and gentlemen. Seven out of 23 is still um, maybe 30, 30%. Right. We're going to get started. No, it's early, but... You know how to do this, guys.
Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. So let me uh, stop sharing here. Okay. So this week, um, what we're talking about, if you haven't been here before, is we've talking, been talking about matter, right? So this week we've been doing that. Um, matter is anything that takes up space and mass. We use that as classification. All right, so let's do this real quick here. Let's see how many people get in the poll here. The amount of matter in an object is called what? Volume, density, weight, or mass? 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. That's how I've been doing. It's 11. Okay, you guys got, are you doing about 11 out of, so about uh, almost it's half. So you're about like 40%, 11 out of 25. Okay, so it is mass. Number four, the amount of matter is the um, object has, it's its mass. Okay. Right, so let's do this one. Just want to remind you the amount of space an object has. Remember, it has to have both space and matter or mass in order to be matter. So is it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 8 responses? We're getting less and less. So it should be volume. Volume, space is volume, okay? All right, so that is what we're, we're talking about today. Um, so we're going to um, look at some things that, uh, just a few things, and then we're gonna go on to do the density lab, right? So the conservation of mass, I'm gonna take my head out of here. Conservation of mass, okay, conservation. So 
And basically what they were saying is during a physical or chemical change, mass is conserved. So if you burn something, um, it turns into ashes. It does not um, go completely away. So if that were to happen, anything that you ate uh, would not, um, would be chemically reduced to nothing. Um, so what we're saying is that when you eat something or uh, it, it basically gets rearranged and uh, this concept, the law of conservation of mass that states that matter can change form or be rearranged, but it cannot be created or destroyed. So if you think about what we talked about, um, the Big Bang Theory, when atoms um, came from the start of the universe, uh, we are the, the atoms that started us all off. So those get, um, get recycled. The other thing too, is if you think about humans being born and there being more people on the earth, well, they had to come from somewhere they came from um, their parents, of course, but the food you eat is what makes you grow. So the food gets recycled, the atoms get recycled into you. So you, uh, if, if that wasn't the case, then the earth would get heavier and heavier and heavier. And that's not the case. It's the mass that nothing uh, has changed. It's just been changed around, but the mass has not been destroyed at all. Okay, when you bake a cake, a chemical change takes place. The mass of the raw ingredients will equal the mass of the cake. Matter transforms, but it does not create it or destroy it. When you crush a can, the phys a physical change takes place. It's basically the same can, it's just in a different shape, crushed. Um, so the cake, okay, certainly you're not gonna eat a raw cake, but when it, it uh, certainly does look different, but everything in the raw ingredients is just the same, right? Same, same stuff, just that we've added some heat to it. Okay, so let's look at the con conservation of mass. A woman cooks two eggs, that's a chemical change. The mass of the raw eggs is 10 grams. What about the mass of the cooked eggs? Let me give you, a, let me ask you that question here. See if we can get as many people as possible to, to participate in this. In, you got A, 10 grams, B, 20 grams, C, 40 grams, D, zero grams. In 10, 20, no, no, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 11 people. We still have the 11. So, yeah, it's 20 grams, 10 grams. So, the, the, even though we cook them, the mass is going to be the same. Conservation of mass in here, all right? Counting is hard. Thanks, Rand Randell. Thank you much. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish up on the density lab. All right. So I'm going to have you guys do that. Those people that didn't get involved in the density lab, all right, that. So I'm going to give some people some opportunity here. Let me do this. Okay. Okay. We're going to block one. Okay. And if you hadn't seen this, let me um, get the next slide here. Okay. Share. All right. So, home screen. So if you're taking a test this week or um, an assignment, doing an assignment or test, make sure you looked at the test review here on the home screen, okay? Has all the information that you should use, should need, liquid, solids, gases, okay? Has the descriptions of those conservation of masses in there we just went into. We didn't go over the solute and solvent of solutions yet. We'll go over that tomorrow. But all that is in there. So when you get ready to take the test, you've got that there. So remember, okay, just a reminder, when you take the do the assignments, you have unlimited chances to take the assignments, okay? Quiz, just one chance, maybe two, if you ask me nicely, all right? Two chances at the most for this. 30 points, 15, 15, and 20. 
So if you do well on these, you've got 60% of your grade. Do well on that is 100% plus the bonus for um, getting in and uh, participating. So you could get up to 110%. So the bonus comes in the bonus, remember. All right, let me write this down. So bonus. So bonus assignments like this is a the, the density lab we're going to do is a bonus assignment. It goes in every nine weeks. OK, so if you say, Mr. Gale, where is that going? That goes in every nine weeks of 50 points. Right. These are unlimited. OK, these two assignments here are unlimited. This is one try. OK, ask for a second try. But what most likely I'm going to say to you is, do you have the graphic organizer? You know where that is. Are you using it? Because I see that people, um, sometimes people do the quizzes before they even do the assignments. So I'm not sure why that is, because the assignments, the questions are in from the assignments. So do that. Okay. So um, module, this is a bonus assignment here. For those people, um, Let's see, we did M through Z. M through Z yesterday did this assignment. So this person, these people did the, if you did the, um, the density with me yesterday, you need to do the video lesson today. This is, this was M through Z, I believe, okay. Do the video lesson, did the video lesson today, uh, yesterday. You guys are going to do the density with me today. Density with me today. We're going to do that in the in the live class. So anybody else, um, you need to get into this video lesson on matter. So that was the A through L. You're going to do this. So this is in your module, right? If you want to go off, off camera or um, get into a place where you want to, you can do it while you're in class, you don't have to do it in class. You can step out and come back in at the end of the hour. So we have a exit quiz at the end of the hour. So make sure that you get here. We're also gonna do the, um, I think we're gonna try to do the homework assignment as well. So gonna try to do all that. Hey, Jada. Um, it, that's a bonus assignment, Jada, um, you, it doesn't, uh, they get locked, so um, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. It's just it's just bonus, okay? It's not a required one. It, it does have a time limit. The ones that you see here, this these assignments here, this is a this is required. This is required. This is not. This is bonus. So the bonus. See, it has a de date of of uh, September first. This is, um, if, if it doesn't say W2 on it, this is required. These are required. And these are the things that will show up in your grade book. Grade book. Okay, that is. And then the mixture one that we're going to do Thursday is a bonus. So these, these assignments are, are here open till January 12th. Unlimited. This one, same way, January 12th. Okay, so these three assignments are the assignments for the week. The rest of them are bonus. Okay, that's a good question. I appreciate that. Okay, so um, for those people that uh, didn't do the density, I'm going to give you that real quick here. So grab the, go to the bonus assignment and the video lesson for Nearpod, right? And I will give you guys, let me get this real quick here. I'm going to. Close that out for a second. All right.
Okay, so this is for the um, M through Z people that didn't do the bonus, M through Z people that did not do the bonus, okay? So those are those people. So I already have people that did this yesterday. Um, if you've done this, don't do it. Do, it. do it again unless you didn't finish it, okay? So this is for the M through Z people. Right, we're going to go over the density density lab. If you did the, this yesterday, then you have that module on the video, the introduction to chemistry video. All right, great. So we're going to start this. Okay. So follow along with me on this, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to do parts of, part of the assignment for the next 10, 15 minutes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try to get these uh, sm smaller, okay, so that uh, you can see both of these at the same time. All right, so here we go. What happens when I make it smaller, it dumps everything into... All right, here we go. Cool, we got them. Okay. All right, so... So um, in, in density, okay, so density, we're going to do set one. You have to do, uh, it, it identifies the object. So we have some mystery objects here. Okay, and then, then let's see, where was that? Mystery object. Okay, mystery object. So we're going to click on mystery object. And the mystery object, we can tell by finding out the weight and the volume, if we take the weight and the volume, divide those two, we get a specific number that tells us exactly from this density table what it is. So we don't know what it is, but we can do that. Now, just like you saw in the video, when you have certain materials on top of one another, like water and then oil floats on water and caro syrup, syrup is heavier than water and goes to the bottom that is its particular density and we can tell the difference between things just on their their uh density alone so we're going to do so you need a calculator to do this so that'll help us out okay so what we use we're going to use the displacement method okay so the displacement method is when i put something in water Okay, and it makes it go up, right? So it went from 100 liters of water to 105.5 liters of water. So in the, ch the chat, if you're doing this with me, how much volume does this displace? This is the displacement method. It takes up space of the water. So how much did it go from 100 to 105.5? So what's the difference there? Yeah, thanks. Randall, very good. Okay, so we're going to take its weight. All right, 19.30. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to clear that out. All right, so if you're doing this with me, so we're going on to this page right here. Okay, all right, so we're going to do, we're going to put this, so we're going to, name the substance here. So this is the mystery about it, but density can tell us those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in this 19.3 and tell me if I'm going too fast, kilograms. And we're going to divide that by 5.5 liters. Okay, now we do that because um, Density is a ratio of mass, kilograms, to volume, liters. And we get a number that tells us, when we divide that, we get it by, per unit. So 19.3 kilograms per 5.5 liters. We want to find out how much it is for one liter. So if somebody's got a calculator, 
take 19.3 divided by 5.5. What do you get? Nineteen point three divided by five point five in the the chat. If you could put that in there, that would be so helpful. Yes, thanks, Roman. I appreciate that. So now let's take a look. Thanks, Jade, Jaden, and uh, Luffy, Luffy, Luffy. We got Luffy now. Okay, so let's take a look. Three point five, and I think it was. 3.509, so I'm going to call it 3.1. So let's take a look at what this information is. So somebody tell me, it's pretty valuable. What has a 3.51 liter, kilogram per liter? Low fee. Okay, low fee. Gotcha. Gotcha. Low fee, not luffy, but low fee. Gotcha. Low fee. Diamond, thanks so much. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get put that, we're gonna put diamond down. Get this in smaller version here. Okay, so put, putting diamond. Okay, so this is move over here. 3.51 kilograms per liter. Oh, okay. All right, so I can't do that. Okay, I got to do it this way. I'm typing. So 3.51 kilograms per, per liter. So that mark there is divide sign, but we always, we always say it's per. And the substance is diamond. Okay, diamond. All right, so can I do that again? Diamond, okay, so here we go. All right, so let's do the next one together. All right. Number two. Okay, so we're gonna do, close this off here. We're gonna, we did one A, now we're gonna do one B. So one B is 0.4 kilograms, 0.4 kilograms. And the volume is what? What's the volume on this one? What's the volume on this one? Okay, subtract 100 from that, Jay. What do you get? There you go, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So it's actually 0.4 divided by 0.4. And notice... It's floating just like in that video there. So this is most likely about the same as water. So let's take, let's do this. So this one, we're gonna write down in here. We're gonna write down 0.4 kilograms, 0.4 kg divided by 0.4 liters and anything you divide by by itself what do you get you got the same number on the top the decimal the um, numerator and denominator what do you get 0.4 divided by 0.4 gives you what one divided by one two divided by two three divided by three all give you the same number what could that possibly yes so this is 1.00 kilograms per liter and let's look at the density table here what is this yeah yeah you got it it is water so that makes sense huh there's a couple things that are floating in there they got knocked in when i made the thing smaller okay so let's put that in here water okay all right so let's go and do the next one here 
if I'm going too fast, let me know. Uh, we will see it again. So, all right. So 1C, 1B we did. 1E, 1A, 1B. So 1C. Okay. So 1C as a volume of what? What's the volume of 1C? It's heavier than water, so it's not one. So what's the volume? It's 100. When we when it was 100 in there? Yep, thanks. Thanks, Shea. And the mass is 19.32, right? Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, close this out. So kicked everything back into the drink there. Do this. So we're going to do 19.32, 19.32 kilograms divided by one liter. What are you going to get? It's very valuable material here. What are you going to get as far as the, when you divide by one? You take a number, divide by one. So 19.32 divided by one is going to give us... Right, Revy, you got it. Gives you the same number. So this is going to be 19.32 kilograms per liter. Okay, so let's take a look at the density table here. It's very valuable. What is it? There we go, very good, gold. Okay. Close this down. All right. So you can tell a subject, a substance, a lot of pure substances, you can see from this just by finding out the density, finding out the density. Also tell us that some things float. This thing is lighter than water. This one right here, I think one of these, yeah, like letter D, it's kind of in, it's in there. Some things are floating on top and the things that are heavier, if we get the mass, we can take a look and see what they are. So we're gonna stop right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's all the time we have today for this assignment. Let us stop this. Okay. Everybody should give me a little happy face at the end and submit it for me. Make sure you get all these in there so you get your full credit. Right? Right. So make sure you get all that in there. Anybody need more time? Oh, it automatically submits. Yep, it automatically submits. You, If you're writing it in there, you're. I just want to make sure you have it all down. Okay. Anybody need more time on that? I'm going to close that screen out. Okay, Roman, sure. Go ahead. Uh, you, um, you don't have to finish it. You're, we're, um, if you want, if you want, I'll send you something. Okay. I'll put a note to myself. You can send it and you can play with it. Sure. All right. I'll send it to you in, um, in an email. Is that okay, Jay? You do have to, you have to redo yours, Marissa. Uh, don't worry about it, Marie. Just if it got messed up, just put your smiley face on it. You, you participated. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're going to do. So you stop at gold. Yep.
not a problem. If you want to practice, yeah, you're good then. Stop at gold. Oops, I'm pa paused here. So let me put myself back in, sign in again. Okay. All right. Hopefully you got enough of everybody's got that there. Okay, so what I'd like to do real quick here, ladies and gentlemen, we got eight minutes. Let's see if we can do let's do this quiz. Let's do this assignment together. I'll give you the link. You guys help me answer these questions. All right. Here's the link. Tell me if you get in there. So this is the assignment. Not a problem. Don't worry about it, Marie. Um, am I using your right? Yeah, it 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 happens. I, I I understand that. So don't worry about it. All right. So if everybody, the last eight eight seven eight minutes, let's do this uh, quiz together, the assignment together. Let's uh, take a look at this. Okay, get yourself some 15 points. We got eight questions. We got one question a minute. So help me out answering these questions. Anybody, everybody's in? Okay, my, um, Revy's in. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Which state of matter is made tightly packed and M's cannot move around freely? So type in that, for bonus point, type in liquid, solid, gas, or plasma. All right, Jenna, Janiah, not a problem. I'll keep it, keep it open there. So type in what do you think it is? Simon one, Simon one. Yep, Simon one. I got the link right there. All right, yeah, you guys got it. Solid, a solid state of matter that's tightly packed cannot move around freely. Number two, thanks, Revy. Thanks, Roman. All right, what is matter? Anything that takes a space and mass. So that's A, a substance that stores energy, a force exerted by a massive object, or the electrically charged. All right, you got it, Roman. All right, so anything that takes up space and mass. Okay, good job. Number three, matter is made of, you gotta, gotta type this out, either atoms, large energy or either okay jay you got it cheyenne you got it it is adams you got it adams question number four which state of matter has a definite volume but the shape it takes the shape of the container liquid solid gas or plasma roman great you got it again okay roman i'm going to ask you not to answer anymore you're you're, you're dominating us right real quickly here so don't answer yet i'll let some other people answer I've given you already three points. All right, number five, which state of matter takes the shape of a volume in the container? Oh, Jay, you got it. Alicia, you got it. Gas. Question six, which state of matter is made of positively charged? Oh my gosh, Cheyenne, you got it too. All right, thanks Cheyenne, it's plasma. The electrons are torn off. And then seven, which property of matter reflects how much mass it takes up in a certain amount of space. Oh, Cheyenne, you got it. We just did that density experiment. So property of matter reflects the mass in a certain amount of space. Yep. So how much mass in, in a small space so that we can, they, we can compare them. Okay. So this one's last one. The force of gravity acting on an object is called, what are we going to put? Weight or mass here? Thanks, Revy. It's weight. It will change when traveling to the moon or not change. Yes, it does. It changes. Okay, Revy, I'm going to let somebody else ask on this one. Roman, you too. Let's see if we can get these some other players in here. The amount of matter in an object is called, it's got to be what? Thanks, Marie. It's, it's mass. And it will 
Stay the same, Jay. You're right. Okay. How many people got 15? Tell me in the chat there. How many people got 15 right? 15 out of 15. All right, Cheyenne. So great, great, great. Okay, so that would this grade is reflected in your grade book. It should have made a change in your grade today. So everything else was bonus. This one will actually go in the grade book. Take a look and see what it says. If you got 15 out of 15, you probably have 100% in my mat in my science class. How many people got 100% in the science class? Take a look at your grade. Because it was, it was saying, not you. Ah. Are you sure? Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay. You don't have a grade. Okay. I don't understand. Uh, you know what? Um, just kind of uh, refresh your screen, see what happens. Refresh your screen, see what happens. Because uh, sometimes it, if you don't have a grade, you should have one. Okay, let me take a look on your Cheyenne. If it's if it didn't change. All right, I'm gonna take a quick peek, make sure everybody's got a grade that did this assignment. I want to make sure that you got some good good stuff in there. Grades. Oh, it says, yep, it's Cheyenne, it says 100 for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Janai, are you sure? Cheyenne, Janai, you've got 100 in there. Yep, just, uh, yep, there you go. Refreshed. There you go, everybody. How many people have 100? 100, 100, 100. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jay. You guys, good job. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay by your computers. And I will let you guys go. I'm going to end the meeting. Bye-bye.